hello good morning all today in this video we are going to show you how to configure Odoo with PyCharm for development so first of all we have to download PyCharm so I will search inside the Google that for PyCharm so once you search you can see JetBrains that is the official site where you can download the PyCharm so once the site is open you can see a download button in the top right of the screen so the system is loading okay you can see here a download button so by clicking the download button you will get you can see there is two version for the PyCharm that is one is professional and another one is community community is free and open source so for using professional we need to get a key from uh, PyCharm so let's continue with the PyCharm community edition so by clicking this download button you can download dot tar gz file of a PyCharm version so you can see if I click on ok and if I click on save button, you can download PyCharm community 2019.2.1.tar.gz. So if I click on OK, you will get a .tar file. So in the downloads, from the downloads, you can just extract the download file. So once you extract the download file, you will get a files like this, that is PyCharm files. So if I go to inside the bin folder, you can see a PyCharm.sh file here. So right now the PyCharm is already, I have in, uh, pinned to the uh, uh, main sidebar. So here, if you are as you are new, you can just open the PyCharm like this. Just open the terminal from here, and then you can dot slash the file name that is PyCharm.sh dot slash PyCharm.sh. So once you enter dot slash PyCharm.sh and click on enter button, the PyCharm will get opened. So let's wait for a few seconds. Here you can see PyCharm 2018.3 is getting opened. So this is how you can download the PyCharm and you can open the PyCharm. Just uh, extract the tab dot gz file and inside the bin folder you can see a pycharm.sh file so the pycharm is opening so if i click on here you can see such a menu so once you uh, run dot slash pycharm.sh you will get a screen like this so here you can see i have already created some projects so you won't see such options here so you will have create new project open and these three options you have so what you can do is that you can just click on open button before this make sure that sure that you have downloaded the odoo from github or nightly so i have already downloaded odoo version 13 that is odoo master so i will click on open button and i will go to I'll go to just scroll down and i will go to this is my odoo folder and here i have odoo master so i will select this and i'll click on ok button okay you can see uh, the pyjama is getting loaded so you can scanning files to index so the module is your know, pycharm is getting loaded you can see scanning is in progress so i think scanning is completed so what you have to do is that the odoo master is get loaded into the pycharm now we have to set the configuration you can see you have an edit configuration here so before that if you go to the dpn and here you can see a odoo.conf file so i will just copy this file that is on by right clicking copy and i will copy that file inside dpn that is odoo.conf and i will paste it here inside directly inside the odoo master so i just paste it okay scanning files so what i have done is just copied the file from here inside dpn folder you have a file that is odoo.conf I just copy that file and paste it directly inside Odoo master so it's getting scanned I think it will take a few time let's wait there so this is the file we are copying okay the file got copied you can see right now we have a file odoo.conf directly inside odoo master so this is the file we have copied so here we have to set db host as local host and set the db host as local host and db port the value must be 5432 the port of postgres that is you can see you can know that uh, the odoo is using postgres as database and we have set the port as 5432 and db host as local host uh, before this you have to make sure that postgres is installed Okay, now we have to create a database user for running Odoo. So either you can create user from here. So if I take the terminal here, and I have already code for creating the Postgres user, new Postgres user. So I'll just copy this code, and I'll come to the PyCharm, and I'll paste the code here. That is, I'm going to create a new Postgres user. 
So before creating that user, I have to log into the Postgres. I forget that by entering sudo su Postgres, you can log into the Postgres. So right now you are logged into the Postgres. Now I paste the command create user, create db username Postgres. Now create role and I'll give this is the name of the user that you are going to create that is odo13. Okay, just click on enter. Then you have to enter a password for the corresponding user. I will enter the password as odo13 itself. Click on enter. Now you have to enter the same password you have typed before to confirm the password. So I will type the same password. You can see there is no error. So we have created a new user. Now I will exit from the Postgres by typing exit. So we have created a new user with name odo13. So that user has to be specified here. That is odo13 and sorry db port i have only wrongly given so i have to give that user here odo13 and you have to specify that db password that is also odo13 now you have to give the add-ons path you can see this is the add-ons path if i copy path from here i can just click on it and copy the path and i will paste it here so add-ons path is given earlier you have you have seen a semicolon here you have to remove that semicolon so now we have done with the configuration file we have set db host as local host db port 5432 we have created a new user in the database that is odo13 and the, with password odo13 itself and we have also set the add-ons path now we will go to the edit configuration you can see edit configuration button here so i'll just click on it there and you can click on this plus button you are going to add a new python configuration so here you can give the name as odo13 and the script path you have to choose odo bin so if i scroll down that is inside our odo master you can see a file named odo bin just select it here and inside the parameter you have, you have to give minus c odo.conf that is path to the our file which is directly inside odo master that is minus c odo.conf that's done and the python interpreter is python 3.5 Okay, that's given and that's all and I'll just click on apply button and it's done and I click on OK button. So we are done with the configuration. Now I will run the Odo 13. From here you can run Odo 13. You can see this is the new configuration that we have created right now. So if I click on run Odo 13, you can see no, no module named POL. That is some dependency package is missing. So I will just insta install that missing package. So I can install it from here. Just you can if the package is missing, you can just install it from file settings and you can install the missing package from here. Just you can click on this plus button. You can see a plus button here. Click on the plus button and you can just install the missing package. That is you can pure lib install package. You have to enter the password for authentication. You can see the package is getting installed. That is, you have an installing status there. So you can see package purely installed successfully. Now I'll close this, close this, and I click on restart service. Okay, it's loading. You can see there is no errors coming, and it's running on 8069. So I'll just change the port as I have already something running in 8069. I'll give new port for running Odoo. That is XML RPC port is 8099 so right now it's as i have in given xml rpc port in the con file by default odo is running inside 8069 so by giving xml rpc port in the con file i have changed the port to the 8099 whether you have 8069 so after changing the port i will just restart the service again okay, stop and rerun so i have restarted the service you can see it's right now it's running in 8099 so if I go to the browser and if I check the corresponding, I will close that 0008099. So I'll just access the photo in the browser. You can see a new database creation option is coming. So if I create a new database that is photo13, email it be admin and password also be admin. Admin phone number is not necessary. Language English country India okay that's the only can choose your country and I'll click the demo data option that is for loading the demo data 
and I'll click on the create database. So if there is any some errors in the missing configuration, so missing Python packages or something like that, you might get some error during the creation of database. So let's see what we get while creating the database. So you can see if you go to the uh, PyCharm, you can see here in the section, you can see right now what process is done. You can see the process that is loading base module is getting installed right now. Like that you will get updates on what is going on that is log so you can see the log of what is happening here inside the pycharm so let's wait until the database creation is completed module web is getting installed like that there is a, some more some more that these are our base modules that is base web etc all the base modules of odoo so let's see it's still getting created yeah it's, you can see it's still loading yeah finally the database got created right now you can if you check the log you can see it gets stopped that's because the database creation is successful so if i go to the settings you can see these settings i'll just activate the developer mode from users and companies just let me activate the developer mode from the url that is question mark debug equal to and if i activate the developer mode settings i'm not getting any settings let me install a module first uh, let me install sales module okay sales module yes sales module is there so this is all about uh, how to configure order with pycharm i will explain what we have done so far what we have done is we have just download the pycharm from JetBrains site that is from here you can download the PyCharm community edition. Once you download the file, you will have a .tar.gz file. You have to right click and extract it. So once you extract it, you can go to inside the PyCharm, you will have a bin folder, and inside the bin folder, you will see a file with the name pycharm.sh. So by from the terminal, you can run the file using dot slash slash pycharm.sh. So once you run it, you can PyCharm will get open. Then using the open option you are using in the PyCharm, PyCharm screen, you can open the Odoo, Odoo, Odoo files. So once the Odoo file is loaded into PyCharm, you have to create the conf file. So inside the conf file, you can see what all we have done is set the DB host as localhost, DB port is set, set to 5432, and DB user is the user we have created in the Postgres that is Odoo 13 and the password also you have to mention if we are running the Odoo in some another uh, port you have to specify the port that is XML RPC port equal to 8099 is set so that's done then we comes to the edit configuration and here we have added a by clicking the plus button we have added a Odoo 13 in the script path you have selected Odoo bin parameters is minus C Odoo.conf Python interpreter is selected working directory is Odoo master and we have run it so let's see what happens here with the you can see we are getting an error message while installing the sales module that is no module named std now that is having the missing packages so you can get it from you can also see here if i scroll down in the page you can see the error messages here so that's saying that they're missing a packages so i will go to the settings again and from here 3.5 and I will install the missing package again stdnum so i will install python stdnum once again so i will enter my password you can see the package is getting installed installing you can see the installing label there so you can see package python got installed so i will close, close this and i will restart the service again okay the service got restarted now i'll go to the sales module itself and upgrade the module if I check the status, if I click on module info, might be might be in cancel install state. You have an install button here. Okay. So I will again try to install the module. So you can see module is getting installed. So if I check the log, it's getting loader loading. That's it's accounting module is getting installed. That is dependent module of the sales. You can see which files are getting executed account views partner dot view partner view xml like that accounting module is getting installed right now so once all the dependent module is installed the execution will come to the sales module right now the payment module is getting installed yeah you can see module sale 
right now the sale is coming that is all the dependent module got installed right now the sales module is getting installed you can see the sale bar data set sale demo dot xml if we check the front end you can see it's still loading sale management contacts python okay still the module is loading It's taking this much time because we are installing the first module in the database so once you are installing the first module in the database the system has to install all the dependent modules that's why yeah you can see the sales module got installed successfully so if I go to the settings now I go to settings you can see at the bottom of the screen this is Odoo 13 alpha 1 community edition so this is how how you can configure Odoo with PyCharm. So if you have any queries or doubts regarding this, you can comment it out or you can reach us over the email. The email ID is odoomates at gmail.com. Feel free to contact us. Happy to help you. Thank you.